Hello, my name is Sherelle T. Martin with Empower to Thrive, and we help business owners create, build, and maintain financially thriving businesses. So in the past, I've given you a lot of information around managing your business finances and creating budgets, but what you really want to know is how to increase your bank balance, right? Well, today I'm going to share with you three tips on how to implement the one surefire way to increase your bank balance, and that one surefire way is to save. Yes, it is just that simple. How you ask? The same way you save personally, by tithing. Tithing to yourself. But you have to make sure that you tithe it into an account that you don't have easy access to. Why? Because you're going to spend it and it then it defeats the purpose. So now I'm going to share with you three quick tips. Say that three times real fast. Three quick tips on how to save for your business. But you have to be sure to visit our blog over at EmpowerThrive.com where you'll get the other two tips because there's five altogether. So the first tip is to just keep it simple. Start with a simple savings account. If stocks and investments aren't your thing, don't try and jump out there and handle it by yourself. Do your research, find a reputable um, agency or organization and a trusted advisor who you can tr entrust your money to to manage your transactions for you. Let that advisor be the person who um, does the actual transaction transactions for you after you first have educated them on what your financial goals are. Don't try to do it yourself. The second tip is to make your savings automatic. So just like when you had a job or if you still have a job, you have savings that come out of your check and go directly into your savings account, right? Out of sight, out of mind. Well, it's the same thing for business. When you get your deposits from your customers, then make sure that you could come up with a calculated percentage. Don't just pull it out of the sky. Come up with a calculated percentage, and whatever that percentage is, you make sure that you take that percentage and you write a check directly back into the other bank account for you versus keeping it in that account. Sorry, my screen is doing things. Um, the third tip for you is to get rid of the credit cards. So, credit card debt is nothing but the devil, right? It's just, it really is. So what you need to do is, if you already have credit card debt, then you need to actually get a handle on it and create a plan that you can follow that's gonna help you pay that debt off. Start Just like with your personal credit cards, you start with the highest, um, the card with the highest percentage um, and pay that card off first. And because if you continue to use these credit cards, just like in your personal life, you're gonna, create a mountain of debt. It's very, very easy to get into debt with these credit cards. So push away, push away from the credit card table and you will do yourself a world of favor. So now I want to hear from you. What savings tips have you done in the past that have allowed you to increase your bank balance? Please share them over on our blog at EmpowerToThrive.com so that our Empower to Thrive community can benefit and learn. Did you like this video? If so, please subscribe so that you can receive these tips directly every single week and share it with your friends, fans, and followers so they also can benefit and learn. And if you want more tools, tips, and resources on how to turn your business to a thriving one, then make sure you grab our free audio CD over on our blog at EntirePowerToThrive.com. Now, remember, in order to thrive financially in life and in business, you must push past your fears, excel in your ability, and soar to new heights. I look forward to talking to you next week. Take care and be empowered.